Storing data on blockchain is expensive. So that's why we don't see any of these blockchains storing any files on the chain. As a solution, many may turn to a protocol like IPFS, which offers decentralized and distributed storage at a manageable cost. So hi everyone, this is Sail from QuickNode. And in this video, we will learn about IPFS, how IPFS works and what is IPFS spinning. So without any ado, let's jump into it. IPFS, which stands for Interplanetary File System, is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer distributed file storing protocol. In a normal blockchain, you don't store files because it's very expensive to store any kind of data on blockchain. So that's why a lot of the companies working in this space store their data on centralized servers like Heroku or other cloud providers. But that's not what Web3 is meant for, right? Web3 stands for decentralization, censorship-free data, and immutability of the data. So with IPFS, one can store data in a decentralized format, and uh, it's stored in such a way that it's immutable. We will understand how it's immutable and how it's stored in a decentralized format in just a bit. So let's understand that how IPFS works. IPFS has nodes like blockchains. These nodes are the ones storing data or files and ensure the availability of these files. So whenever someone wants to upload a file, they would need access to an IPFS node. They can use a service which provides these IPFS nodes or they can also run a local client of the IPFS node. So using which they can upload their files. So what happens when they upload the file is the file is converted into hash, usually by using a hashing algorithm like SHA-256. So whenever a file is uploaded on IPFS, a hash is generated, which identifies that file, which is also called CID. And uh, this file cannot be altered because whenever you update this file and re-upload to IPFS, a new CID or the content identifier will be generated. So this makes sure that the files uploaded on IPFS cannot be altered with, and if they are altered, a new file will be generated, which will be the altered file, and it will have an entirely new CID or the content identifier. So whenever someone wants to access this file stored on the IPFS network, they will make a query to a IPFS node, and that, that IPFS node will query its peers for that file. And once that query reaches the node which stores the file, then that file can be accessed. In a traditional web scenario, we have domains and IP addresses. So for example, if you are querying for a specific website, that website's domain, which is something something com translates to a IP address and using that IP address the resources of that particular website are located and then served to a user but in terms of IPFS the files are located using their hash so this kind of locating is called content addressing which is different from the location addressing used by the traditional websites in content based addressing the file or resource is located using its hash which is also called CID, which stands for Content Identifier. Whereas in a traditional situation, a website's resources are located using the IPS of the server on which they are stored on. So whenever a file is uploaded on IPFS, it's stored on the IPFS node you use to upload the file. And when other nodes query that file, they make a copy of that file on them as well. But if that file is not used in a long time, it will get deleted in the garbage collection process of that node because nodes usually store the frequently used files and an index of the files. So to prevent this, what you can do is you can run your own node and store the file on that. But for that, you will need to keep running that node continuously. You cannot stop that. The other option is you can use a pinning service using which you can pin your file and that file will be stored on their IPFS nodes and it will be available indefinitely. Quick note storage comes with IPFS pinning and gateways, which lets you upload a file on IPFS and retrieve a already uploaded file. So as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, 
सब्सक्राइब टू द क्विक नोट यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर सच वीडियोज़ थैंक यू एवरी